You're at Johnny Pacific in the thick of the West San Fernando Valley. Like you guys, I'm just looking for something good to eat everywhere in Los Angeles. And I think the passion for street food and wanting to do something that, um, you know, because at the time we were, we were catering when we first started and we were doing a lot of production catering. So I thought, you know, let's do empanadas and it's something that we can make in our off time. And then when people come in and order them, we'll cook them up and it won't so much get in the way of things. And then the business just took off to the point where we pretty much just stopped catering. I mean, we'll cater empanadas in this menu. And we just started focusing on the restaurant and our clientele here. Mm. You know, we specialize in, in blending Latin and Pacific Island street food. About half of what we do is empanadas. And um, the other half are skewers, uh, both Indonesian style chicken saute with a homemade Southeast Asian peanut sauce, uh, a Korean flat iron steak skewer, uh, which is finished with a homemade teriyaki sauce, and another skewer of the, the choice black Angus flat iron steak slathered with chimichurri. You know, after high school, I, I, I uh, needed just some time to decompress, so I went to the Virgin Islands. And believe it or not, the, the empanadas are sold on every street corner and I pretty much survived on empanadas. So that's a little bit about the background. That and just traveling and surfing and eating street food, and loving street food and the flavors of, of both kind of Latin countries and Pacific Island countries like Hawaii and Korea and Indonesia. Hey Thieves, can, can you and Clara just say uh, what it's like to work for your dad's business? That's fine. Um. chuck roll, it's slow cooked overnight with chipotles, onions, tomatoes, apple cider, vinegar, garlic, and savory seasonings. It's a little spicy, a little smoky, a little tangy, it's got a lot going for it. It's one of my favorites. We kind of just spread it out a little bit and then really press those edges together. We crimp it nicely and then every single empanada that we do has a slightly different fold and that's what tells one apart from the other. And this one, um, has these two little horns on the top. There's a horn right there. And then I'm gonna do another horn. So it's kind of like the bull, like El Tarasco. So that's that's the fold of the beef tinga empanada. That is the chicken El Pastor followed by the Kalua pig, followed by the beef tinga, followed by the Beef and then the spinach and cheese. Cheers! Hey. What's the deal? Ooh. We're moving across we wanna, the street. We want to see an empire. That Cheers. one looks killer, by the way. It's oh, like nice at, and juicy. The inside of that. I like cut that one perfect. Have you had any sort of experiences where you really got to know about a culture through the food? Or? All on show powder side. Oh. What? <laughs> All right. Cheers. There's the caramel sauce. Oh. You got to dip it in there. Dip. Oh god! Look at that. Look at that. For the first three years um, that Yelp did a top 100 restaurants in the United States, we were in the top 100 in the United States. And I thought it was a mistake when some friends were calling me and saying, hey, congratulations, congratulations. I thought maybe top 100 restaurants in the Valley. So I was as surprised as anybody to, to hear about that. Oh, that's hard. I, I really like the spinach and cheese, which is um, organic, triple wash, baby clip spinach tenders sauteed with extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of garlic, with a swath of Philly cream cheese and a little mozzarella. And then I also like the uh, chicken al pastor empanada. That's probably my second favorite one. And that's uh, chicken marinated al pastor style, grilled off with mangoes to poblano chilies and jack cheese. 
You know, keep keep it tasty. I mean, people are always looking for tasty stuff. I'm always looking for tasty stuff. Um, keep the quality there. The other thing is limit your menu. Try not to go and do a million different things. Just specialize in a couple things and do them really, really well. What's it like with the neighbors next door? Well, we have a, I'm not sure which neighbors you're talking about. The guys at, at the uh, at the CBD um, pipe shop, their their neighbors are pretty enthusiastic of coming over here and eating empanadas. They always seem to be extra hungry. 